When you hear the word earthquake, what comes to your mind? Collapsing buildings and people losing their loved ones? Well, that's not all. Inevitable earthquakes have led to tsunamis and fires, which lasted for days. Today's video on Just Scary will examine the five deadliest earthquake moments ever caught on camera. Trinidad and Tobago most of you might not have heard the names of these places before, but let me tell you, they are a part of the northeast coast of Venezuela. They are independent islands, and it was an unfortunate event that the islands faced during a terrible earthquake, which was, fortunately for us, caught on camera. Looking through history, it was terrorized by Christopher Columbus, who claimed the island was for Spain in 1498. A crazy fact we're sure you didn't know is that he was the one who gave a name to the island of Trinidad, which is the largest among the two. The meaning of the name is Trinity in English. Trinidad is known to be a hotspot for seismic activity. The UWI Research Center said that the Eastern Caribbean and the nearby islands face up to 2,200 yearly earthquakes. Now that's something. Coming to the central part, which you have been eagerly waiting for, on August 21st, 2018, a severe earthquake struck the place. It was harsh enough to scare the people living on the island to run for their lives. Certain people were stuck in a grocery store. They were just out there shopping like usual, without expecting what would hit them in a few seconds. The shelves started moving out of nowhere, which could be felt initially. But the earthquake wasn't so hard then. But within seconds, there was a flood of food items in the grocery store. Things were falling off the shelves and flying all across the store. The whole incident can easily be seen in the CCTV footage recorded in the store. The earthquake's epicenter was the Venezuelan city of Carumpano, about 170 miles from the island of Trinidad. There was confusion about the magnitude of the earthquake as the US Geological Survey said that the earthquake was around 7.3, but the Venezuelan Interior Ministry said that the earthquake was 6.3. We'll never know who was right, to be honest, in this case. Fortunately, no lives were lost during the earthquake, and the maximum damage was to agriculture and structural items on the island. Indeed, it hit the grocery store quite hard. Next on our list is the hard-hitting earthquake of the Philippines. We already know that this place has gone through a tough time in the past. First, it was bought by the US from Spain for 20 whopping million dollars in 1898. Back then, 20 million was a lot of money, but that wasn't it. They also faced bombing during World War II from Japan. Islands are most vulnerable to earthquakes, and in 2019, Katabato, a small province in Mindanao, was hit with not one, but a series of severe earthquakes. A brave cameraman in an office captured the severe damage done by the earthquake. Hats off to him. He managed to stay behind as everyone was panicking to film the incident. Every inch of the place was shivering, including the people from the terror of the earthquake. People were running to save their lives. The magnitude of the earthquake was known to be 6.8. It surely swung the whole office back and forth like a swing. People rushed towards the fire escape as they felt the earth move. Furniture and other items, like the lights, seemed haunted as the lights fluttered and the furniture rocked front and back continuously. A lot of damage was caused in this hellfire. If you think that's all for the Philippines, you are wrong. Another similar incident took place in the same year in October, where 40 lives were lost and around 800 people were injured. Earthquakes are terrifying, but what would happen if an earthquake caused a tsunami? Can you imagine the damage to buildings and the number of lives lost? We can't. But let me tell you something that's even more damaging and dangerous to our hearts and souls. It's the fact that you're not subscribed yet. Well, subscribe to Just Scary and reward our hard work. Coming back to one of the scariest earthquakes witnessed. On March 11, 2011, Japan went through a very rough time. Japan had been prone to earthquakes and floods for a long time, but this earthquake wasn't like the ones they usually face. East Japan got hit by an earthquake of magnitude 9.1 which is something nobody was expecting. The earthquake led to the awakening of a 133-foot tsunami. This wasn't it. The moment the tsunami hit land, it caused a nuclear meltdown. It is known to be the hardest earthquake hit since the 1900s in Japan. A report created in 2021 said that the quake was so terrifying that 20,000 lives were lost and about 6,000 people were injured. 
Another news article curated in 2015, four years after the earthquake, said that several people still live in temporary housing and couldn't recover from the disaster. People did not have enough time to evacuate and save themselves because the tsunami was too severe. Most of the victims drowned during the tragedy due to the same tsunami. Because of the nuclear meltdown, Fukushima still seems to be radioactive, even after more than a decade. The levels aren't expected to come down anytime soon either. Specific reports say it will take time till 2041 for radioactive levels to drop to half. Hoping that this never happens to Japan or any other country ever again. It is also known as the deadliest and the most expensive natural disaster of all time, which has been recorded in the modern history. Now imagine this, you're living your day-to-day -day life and completing your daily chores on a random Tuesday and a 7.0 magnitude earthquake wallops you. So on January 12, 2010, a powerful earthquake hit Haiti. The earthquake was devastating and immense, not something ordinary that one sees on a regular Tuesday. Not a few, but hundreds of thousands of people lost their lives. About 250,000 residents were destroyed in an instant. CCTV footage from the presidential palace captures the scene. Various parts of the building were crumbling down, and people were rushing, looking for a safe space which was never to be found. The architectural plan of the city was not well designed, causing most of the damage. Several nations came to help and assist in dealing with the damage and supply food and water. The support was well needed. Reconstruction took an extended period of time as the damage wasn't easy to manage. The world seemed to have stopped during the time, and various countries got their troops ready for help in any brutal emergency. But what could be more brutal than the number of lives lost? We saved the deadliest for the end. The information you're about to receive is terrifying, and we recommend you sit back tight and be prepared for some traumatic footage caught on camera. America is a vulnerable place prone to earthquakes, but San Francisco is the heart of earthquakes due to its location. It rests between three tectonic fault lines. In the early years of the 1900s, the city faced one of the most severe earthquakes ever to hit a metropolitan region. It was also one of the most expensive natural disasters as the city was quite developed. On April 18th, 1906, people left their homes early in the morning to go to their workplaces and began a regular morning. Their day must have been a typical one till the devastating earthquake of 7.8 magnitudes hit the city. Even though the earthquake lasted less than a minute, it damaged the city's infrastructure quite a lot. The impact was immediately felt and seen. The epicenter of the earthquake was located right below the city, and this is known to be extremely rare. The earthquake led to collapsing buildings and houses. Then something even worse happened. A fire broke out, which lasted for three entire days. Around 500 blocks in the city were destroyed. The city's military was fast moving and instantly ready to rescue people, but fire isn't something one can easily survive. Around 3,000 people died in the horrible incident. Half of the city's residents were left homeless due to the damage caused by the earthquake, and 400,000 people lost their homes in the fires. In the middle of the city, a very large market used to flourish, but soon after the earthquake it turned into nothing but bricks and dust. Several shops and stands collapsed, people died and animals were injured. People remained in shock after the incident and were seen walking like they had lost their senses entirely after witnessing such a significant loss of homes and loved ones. Earthquakes are a scary phenomenon that we can only hope never happens to any country. Prayers are the only thing that can work during such a crisis. We can only pray that you hit the subscribe button harder than the San Francisco earthquake. Please give this video a thumbs up and look at the other super scary and exciting videos by us. And I will see you in the next one.